so on a computer system, uh, network, you know, switches, routers, one of the important things to have is common time. Um, if you have an incident happen, in order to be able to go through log files, look through firewall logs, access logs, things of that nature, if you don't have a consistent time across devices, you're going to have a really hard time finding a potential breach or incident or whatever it is. So most systems use the network time protocol, NTP. By default, Ubuntu ships with an NTP client. That client is NTP date. It's the name of the command. However, by default, that just runs at boot time and um, connects at that point in time to a, a, a network time protocol server, grabs the time at that point, and then updates your local clock. However, clocks skew over periods of time. They kind of get out of whack. But with NTP date, there's no um, automated manner in which it's updating the time. So let's look at NTP date and then let's look at some other options that we um, have for time synchronization within uh, Ubuntu. So if we run NTP date minus Q for query and then the name of the server. So for example ntp.ubuntu.com it'll go out and query that server and find out what time it's reporting. So there's the time that's reporting. Now if we want to adjust our clock to that of the NTP server, I just get rid of the dash Q. Um, however, since this is affecting the actual clock, I need to do this in an escalated mode. So I have to use sudo. So once I do that, it's going to go ahead and update the clock. And we can see it adjusted it. Um, by a very very small fraction of a second. So within Ubuntu if you go to time and date settings you will see um, that the time and date is automatically uh, from the internet. By default it's that way and actually you may want to make sure that it is and set the manual. Um, in the competition if it is set to manual change it over to automatically from the internet. With that right there, you may score the points, and that's probably the the, the the depth that they'll get into. But in real life, if you were running an actual Ubuntu server, or you ran a workstation, even that you really wanted to make sure it had proper time all the time, you'd want to go beyond the just the NTP date program, and instead install a a NTP daemon. Um, that runs on a frequent basis. So um, let's go ahead and install that real quick. So the command is sudo apt get install. And what we want to install is ntp. Okay, now that the program is installed, we have to go take a look at its config file and make sure that it's pointing to some servers. So um, the config file is in the Etsy directory, so we're going to do this gk sudo gedit to use the uh, graphical editor gedit and etsy ntp.conf. Okay. So right now, by default, it does put in some servers for us. Here it lists all those servers. So you have um, a, a list for servers, one, two, three, four, and then another uh, one for fallback. So really, we're actually good at this point. We don't need to do anything. I'm just going to close that out. Now, um, if we did make a change, and we wanted to reread that config file, we do a sudo service ntp reload and that would reload that config. 
So now if we want to see the status of our time, sudo ntpq minus p. And that's going to go ahead and show us all the all the clocks and um, what what their what their times are, and we can see here um, values for jitter and offset, which is essentially the difference in time that the different clocks are showing. Which, for the purpose of the competition, don't need to get into at all. But um, again, I think in a competition, if you simply check here and change from manual to automatic that may be an area you get points but if you have some time it wouldn't be a bad idea to install the NTP daemon and potentially get some some more points on that <laughs>